Oh, hello. This is, uh, as you can see, Beacon Pines. Continue. <clears throat> it says continue, but I haven't actually played it, so I don't know why it's saying continue. Shooby doo. Oh, sorry, was I supposed to do something? Dear reader, allow me to introduce you to my book. Right. If I'm having to press a button, every fucking sentence, I'm just going to turn this off. Do my fucking editing. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across. It is far from ordinary. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. Okay. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even mm -hmm. to myself. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. Now, we'll be the judge of that. Without you? There is no story. <laughs> Chapter one. Normal isn't what it used to be. This is a story about mm -hmm. change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. Yeah, entertainment, and I'm not getting it so far. <clears throat> hey, Dad. Yo, kid. Oh, I just realized it's a grave. <clears throat> Rolo was Luca's closest friend. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. the tear swelling in his friend's eyes and the flowers on the grave yeah read the fucking room Rolo right idea what that is tickle weird wonderful i had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book that charm is a very special thing very special indeed oh i feel so special keep hold of it for now its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Of course it will. It's a computer game. That's what things do. <laughs> right. 
Right, okay. So let's get on with the uh, dungeon crawling then. Lolo looked to the side suspiciously. <clears throat> She's hardly going to be a new person. Oh, my fucking God, what have I done? <clears throat> special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Some of them can be found in this really? house. Can they? Lucan knew that if he left without telling Ran, it would be trouble. Yeah, and it wouldn't be part of your game. I get it. Since Gran had moved in, the house was more peaceful and more covered in flowery fabric. <laughs> One of his father's old stethoscopes, Luca had spent countless hours listening to anything and everything. Not for years, though. Oh, bless. See if we can burn him to death. Oh. Grand had already lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly. So we got tickle and ponder. Basket. Just some dusty knickknacks. An array of prepared meals, each labeled with the day of the week. Hmm. A pair of dull scissors, a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. Junk. Is this the down? Oh, didn't close the bridge. Oh my, this is quite exciting. I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Step forth, dear reader. Okay, let's go back in the house. On the other hand, I suppose there's no reason to rush things. Gran will be waiting when you return. Direct. Close the bridge. Thank you. Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Grand's moving in meant that Luca was someone. Oh my God! 
Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. Chill. Gran's bed was undisturbed. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. Mm-hmm. So whose fucking bed is this then? So up here must be a bathroom. Gran had commandeered the upstairs oh. closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief. Yeah, we all know what that is. <whistles> Dildos. Right, so there's no bathroom in this house then. Oh my fucking god. Right. A sturdy old wheelbarrow. Young Luca would spend hours hiding in the bushes, waiting for a chance to jump out and startle his mother. Fucking weirdo. She always enjoyed humoring him by feigning terror. Mm -hmm. A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. of a mess that is the power of charm oh a single word can change everything i think it's time to introduce you to the chronicle okay the chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made you can see the turning point, which has been revealed. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating ah. new branches. Luckily for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. Okay. Just gonna go ponder for the day. This was Luca's chance to sell his alibi. Right. But I want to choose the third one. Hide for the day. Okay. Hide 
Traditionally, when one is trying to hide something, they avoid literally using the word hide. All's well that ends well. Okay. Yeah. Saw a few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary. Chapter 2 Welcome to Beacon Pine. For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. It wasn't until Sharper Valentine built his fertilizer company that Beacon Pines was established. Over the next 30 years, the town had grown and prospered. Until the foul harvest and his sudden death. In the six years since, everyone was simply trying to get by. Okay. I want to look at that. Get back! Old Pickler's Pond. Uh huh. Yeah, no one's going to notice that, are they? Strange patterns of static. Rollo thinks it's aliens. He always thinks it's aliens. <laughs> After Luca's father had passed, Rolo became obsessed with them building their own Hank Atomic Star Scraper. It was some time before Luca realized it was Rolo's way of keeping him occupied. Got you. Luca's winter coat decommissioned for the summer. With the cold holding out longer than usual, he reconsidered its usefulness. What the fuck happened there? All oh, right. God, I'm starting to sneeze like the little thing in the flowers. I think we'll call it a day. Not quite my cup of tea. Probably never going to finish it. Never going to care. And I'm probably going to forget all about it as soon as I stop this video. Which incidentally is ending now. Okay, goodbye.